Hey guys, how's it going? There's a Canuck here to uh, play some more Final Fantasy IV. So, when I last left off, uh, Cecil had just been upgraded to a Paladin. Now, this is sort of the, the trick I always just sort of follow with this game. I've done this every single time. It definitely eases the next section of the game. Obviously, Cecil starts at level 1. He's pretty weak. Can't really do so much. So, uh, as you can see now, he's a little bit higher than level 1. Basically, what I always do is I, uh, I power level him on this mountain because the experience is, is alright. And, uh, Basically, you get him to about 20, kill off the other three party members, and then you simply just level him by himself. He will gain all the experience from every fight, speeds the process up quite huge, and um, you might say, oh, well, the rest of your party gets a lot lower than him. It's like, well, that'll that'll be explained pretty shortly, so don't worry about that. So, anyway, uh, I believe we just killed uh, Mr. Death Guy. I don't even fucking remember his name now. Something annoying, I'm sure. So, oh well. No, auto battle. He can basically, yeah, Cecil is just retardedly strong now. He basically can kill everything no problem, so that's that's pretty much okay as we go. He's got a lot more health than the rest of them, too. Basically, he is, uh, he kind of overkills the, the game for the next little while, but the game evens it out, trust me. It's, uh, it's not as overpowered as you might think. It's like, okay, so yeah, it's level 40, but trust me, it's not that big of a deal once you get to a certain part of the game. You pretty much need it. Also, I don't remember if this game has the trick or not, but, um,. I remember with the Super Nintendo version that North America got of this game. As I just hit my microphone because my nose is itchy. Um, the Super Nintendo version of this game that North America got, I believe, all the characters that you've gotten in the past when you reget them. Like I'm, I'm spoiling this, but I mean, come on, this game is like fucking 13, 15 years old or whatever the hell it is now. But any party members you have in the past, when you get them back. Their level has been scaled to match that of what Cecil's level is. So the fact that I've gotten him to level 40, by the time I get those party members back, it'll have scaled quite a lot. Otherwise, if you don't, they all start at low levels, and it's it's kind of shitty. So, uh, yeah. Now, I remember there's something I need to grab on the way out. That's why I'm not teleporting out. But, where the fuck is it? Ah, there it is. Obtain the curse augment! Fuck yes. And son of a bitch, I have to pause for a second. Fuck. <clears throat> anyway, sorry about that. Damn it. Okay. So there we go, we got the curse augment. So I have to go do something real quick. Okay. Parents you don't need to do stuff. So. Uh what was I doing? Do 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 Curse. Now Let's see. I'm gonna just give it to one of these two. I think I'll just give it to Palm. Yeah, sure, why not? All right, so here we go. Giving, giving those three, um, three, those two. Sorry, those two. Um, what if I can teleport out now? Give, bleh, sorry, giving those two, uh, three augments between the two of them is very beneficial, and you definitely want to do it. So you can follow the ones that I've given it, or you can do whatever else you want. But let's just teleport off this mountain now. I'm curious as to how many people have teleported off that mountain and never ended up getting the curse uh, augment. So it happens. So it's not immediately obvious that it's there. So oh, this fucking thing. And he killed him one hit. Sweet. Okay. So I'm getting all prepared for some epic battle with that uh, with uh, the zoo, and this is like, nope. Anyway. Yeah, like I said, uh, Cecil is kind of really overpowered at this point of the game. The game isn't expecting you to level your guy up to level 40. I could have kept going. I could have gone to like 50 or 60 if I was really fucking patient enough, which I'm not. As it is, getting level 40 does take some time, but level 40 is pretty much a good average that I tend to follow. It, it gets me, gets him, gets him a nice amount of everything, and it's just, it's kind of a good little, uh, um, just a good number, I've always felt, whenever I've played this game. I've played this game a number of times in the past, the North American version and uh, this version twice. So, this version is much harder, but it's just sort of the, the thing I've always followed, so. You can take what you will, you can just go on, leave them at uh, leveling up as you go. It's, it's still a good idea to at least power level them to at least, like, 20 or something. You don't want to leave him super low, or he is just, is just very weak. A paladin? I did not think it possible! Yeah, everyone's like totally shocked now. The Devil's Road is named so because it crosses the Infernal Plane. Okay, you're, so you haven't said anything new at all. Remember always the spirit of the paladin. Yeah, it's, it's blocked still. Okay. 
Now the question I wonder is, can I buy anything, any of the other armors? I've probably got like a shitload of money now, so if I'm missing one of his paladin armors, I can probably buy it now. Welcome! Um, Giga gear now. Let's just shield. I don't have any of these. I'm missing the two of them. Yeah, these two. Okay, well I can definitely buy this. Buy that. All good. No. Alright. Yeah, I was I couldn't remember what I was missing. I knew I was missing at least one of his armors, so I might as well get that dealt with at least. Wizard hats. Uh oh, actually I almost kinda wanna keep that. You know what? I'm gonna keep this, because his defense only goes up by four, but I lose seven, three, and four points on everything else. Yeah, fuck that. I'm just gonna leave it. Uh, oh fuck man, I should almost even put this. I lose some spirit, I lose some defense. Oh fuck man, like these what things aren't even that great. What else did I Oh a shield, okay yeah, I definitely want the shield. There we go. I almost want I almost want this. Look at the evasion it gives me. Lowers my defense by some, but I'm so overpowered, it's like who the fuck cares? It gives twenty evasion. Fuck. I don't know what I want. Oh, well, seems kind of silly because then I'll have wasted. Eh, yeah, fuck it. Just put the Kempo G in. Fuck, I don't care. We're gonna be getting better armors eventually, anyways. Well, I don't give a shit. I told you you can't use your. You're a. When did you. Oh, what the fuck? He's bowed in now. I don't think it's anything in terms of weapons here. Welcome. Yeah, it's just random shit. Nobody can even use the power of the bows or anything, so. Alright, whatever. Let's uh, continue on with the uh, the, the mission, the mission and the story. I've always enjoyed the music in this village. It's always kind of like catchy and funny. What the fuck? Stop freezing! Eek, that armor! You you truly became a pawn, and I can't believe it. Yep. Now give me all your women. Do not think this means I've forgiven you. Yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> You're one insignificant person in this village. Everyone else seems to have uh, gotten over. You've returned in a dark night no longer, just as you can see. I didn't think you'd be able to do it either. Either. Forgive me, it pained me to do so, but I sent those two along to keep a watch on you to ensure your intentions were pure. It seems there was no need. Palum Porum, you've done a fine job. Well, now you know. I'm terribly sorry, I couldn't tell you. No, you are well within your right, after all I've done. But those deeds are behind you now. You are a paladin! Where did you get that sword? I received it on the mountaintop. The writings, the writing engraved on its blade. Those are the words of a legend passed down in Mycidia. A legend? Oh, here we go. Birth from the womb of Dragon's Maw and born unto the stars. Oh, fuck, that's going too fast. <laughs> you know what I just realized? My uh, FPS button is still on, so uh, I'm just going to turn that off. As you can see why it's going so fast there. <laughs> One second as I turn that off. Whoopsie daisy. You can probably... S See where um no oh, what am I that's not what I'm looking for yeah this is very unprofessional I might have to just delete this out what the f oh, there we go let's turn that off wow I can't believe that was sitting on the whole time anyway let's pretend that didn't happen the light on the mountain called me its son whose was the voice I heard I do not know what the light you saw was nor do I know what the legend foretells all I know is that we Mycidians have been told for generations to pray for its realization. To pray and to trust in the one who bears the hallowed light, I believe that one may be you. Then all that remains is to put an end to Goldbez as quickly as we can. Oh, Teller, is that truly you? It has been ages, my friend. We met Teller on the mountain. He learned a meteor up there. Meteor? Then what is happening now must be of a magnitude great enough to shatter even those ancient seals. It would seem so, and now I have the means to avenge Anna. Avenge her. Goldbez killed her, and now I will do the same for him. Tell her, my friend, let hatred drive your thoughts, and it will be your undoing. Meteor would destroy you if you tried to use it now. If I should die, so be it. What he's done must not go unpunished. Stubborn as ever, I see you've not changed a bit. Nor you. <laughs> Friendly banter going on there. But young Cecil has become a paladin now. If the two of you work together, you might just you just might have a chance. But if we are to face gold as we'll need an airship, we must go to Baron. Very well, I will reopen the entrance to the Devil's Road. 
As a paladin, you should be able to walk it safely. I will retire to the Tower of Prayer and pray for your success. Good now, the fate of the world rests in your hands. Thank you. Palam, Borum! You need a company, Cecil, no more. Your work is done. No, it isn't! You told us the album, didn't you, to see things to the end? Please, Elder, let us go, too. Oh, you too. Very well. The Light Arm Out Ordeals accepted you as well. This may very well be your destiny. I cannot leave my city of a path. Perhaps you can aid Cecil and Terra where I cannot. Cecil and Terra, you look after them, won't you? But they're only... Only what? You've seen what we can do. Well, you have, haven't you? Fear not, I'll be along as well. They will be safe. Then I suppose there's no reason to object. Woohoo! All right, we're going! This isn't a picnic we're going on, Palum. The entrance to the Devil's Road lies within a small structure on the east side of town. It will lead you to Baron. I will be in the tower praying for you and all the life upon this earth. Luck be with you. Sweet. I wonder if it's because I turned the frame skipping on. I should probably turn that off. I know this is bad for me to be digging through this, but let's just go to never skip. It seems to lower my frames per second, but that really was weird when it was uh, skipping through that one thing. So The light within you was but a glimmer before, but now how it shines! Our elder trusts you, we will trust you too. Yeah, you better, jerk. I'm getting some really nasty lag everywhere, and it's actually quite annoying. Hmm, whatever, let's see if there's anything up here. Prayer DS. <laughs> anyway. I guess they're all up here praying now. Our elder has been praying here ever since he last last he's, that was like five minutes ago. We pray as well for all life on this planet. Fate has chosen you. All I can do is pray for your success. Alam Borum, do not try to cause us any trouble. Yeah, they will more than likely. <laughs> I'm not saying that as a spoiler. It's just come on, like look at the two. They're fucking little kids. Of course, they're gonna cause problems. I really wish I could get this emulator run better. I've actually. Wow, oh, goddamn! I've actually bought some new parts for my computer, so I'm curious as to how uh, how well that's gonna help or not. Mostly just a RAM upgrade, and I've got and bought a new uh, processor. It was like 200 bucks for everything. It's like, what the fuck do I care? I make good money. Actually, where the fuck am I going? I need to go to. I should probably go to the inn first. Okay, quit lagging. I might have to stop this and fucking restart this because this lag is bugging the shit out of me. Probably because I've been messing with the settings, I might have to restart the whole thing to get it to knock it off. I'll bet the 200 gil you will be staying the night. Yes, I will. Watching that fucking Red Bull crashed ice thing on TV, that's the weirdest shit ever. Usually, it's, they find a couple cities throughout, the, or a few cities throughout the world, they find towns or hills or whatever that, uh, um, what was I saying? That, uh, have good hills and whatnot. Like, I know they've done it in Quebec a bunch of times and whichever city. Big, huge hills. They set up this, basically, a fucking ice rink along a giant path that goes down the hill a lot through, through a city, I'm assuming. Which is just, like, hilarious. Fucking MSN. It's actually really fun. It's something I'd love to try one day, but, of course, where I live, it never fucking stays cold enough to ever actually successfully, uh, set something like that up, but... I think it'd be cool. You know, crash ice. Google it. You'll see what I'm talking about. Anyway, this is where the Devil's Road is. The Devil's Road. Let's do this. Funny little light. I'm still not entirely sure what this actually is doing. I'm teleporting me, but I mean that was obvious. But you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't see any light. It's not, I'm not going out of the water. I'm, I'm just going through the air or something. Is that what is going on? You'd think that this teleporter on this side of the, city, of the city would be guarded too. I mean, really. But, uh, who the fuck knows, right? <laughs> A master monk now serves in His Majesty's Royal Guard, as if it lacked enough muscle already. I believe he's at the end right now. Ooh. That's interesting. I wonder what that means. That uh, door's locked still. Uh, where am I going? Where's the end? Down here. So we'll meet up with an old friend. Yeah, I'm gonna have to restart this after I'm done here. Uh, he's not there. Must be up here. 
What's up, buddy? How's it going, Yang? Yang, Yang, is that you? Please, praise me. I thought you'd be. You thought you 